Hi guys, welcome back to my book channel. My name's Hannah, if you're new here, hello. For today's video, I'm gonna do a book review of One by One by Ruth Ware. Um, I, okay, if you have read um, And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie and you know that a plot, <laughs> I think that plot pretty much applies to every single book that is about a group of friends that goes to um, a getaway, a chalet, a ski resort, um, and eventually people will start going missing. I just feel like if you've read this and you've not read And Then There Were None, I think you have to read And Then There Were None and then you see the similarity. And even on the back, um, a author of a different book has compared this book to Agatha Christie, so I think it's pretty obvious where thriller writers get their ideas from. Anyway, One by One by Ruth Ware is a murder mystery which is set in the French French ski in a, in a French ski resort in Saint Antonio. Uh, okay, I feel like this book had way too much information about the snoop, the business, like the business that they were all in. And even at the end of this book I was confused as to what it was, like why would you want to know what other music people are listening to? And then you could also listen to it at the same time in unison or something. I don't know, it was confusing. I did really enjoy that this book had really short chapters and I've figured out from reading quite a lot of books that have long chapters. I'm a short chapter, short and sweet chapter. Um, so. In this book, the group of people, the people that work for this company called Snoop, they have people called like Snoop Scribers and there is a million dollar firm at stake, um, a, the, someone's buying out the company and they are all kind of enemies towards the end of it and to be fair I actually did I thought I would have guessed the killer much earlier than I did so I don't think she let it out too quickly but then towards the end I was just kind of like it's pretty obvious what was going to happen like there can't just be spoiler I can't really give a review of this book without spoiling it so anyway they go on a um they go to a ski resort and there's a character called Liz who used to work for the company um, which she's an ex-girlfriend of someone that works for the company. I'm terrible with names and even though I literally finished this book yesterday I don't have a clue what their name is. Like a topper or someone? I don't know. So one by one um, I really enjoyed it because it was really fast paced to begin with. In the end I was just kind of like why 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 are we dragging out the ending? It's pretty obvious that one of these two characters, Liz or Erin, is going to have to die or the other person is going to kill the other person. Like, that was the whole... pretty obvious. <laughs> pretty obvious that was going to happen. Um, so, yeah, essentially they, uh, they go to this ski resort in St. Antonio um, and there is really, really bad weather and they've been saying all week that there's going to be possible avalanches, um, snowstorms, etc. They've been there a couple of days and they're just not really getting on. Like they're all like obviously wanting to know who's going to get the million dollar buyout. Turns out no one ends up, I don't think anyone ends up getting it. Or someone does. Or they just rename it some stupid name afterwards. And I was just kind of like okay but um i think i put i think this reminded me so much of and then there were none because i had literally read that um a few weeks ago and i mean there's only me there's only so many times you can tell the same story and i feel like also this book reminded me so much of the guest list and i didn't really enjoy that one either <laughs> or maybe i've just read too many books that are set as a group of guests and then they start going missing and it's kind of pretty self-explanatory that 
either they're all going to die or be someone's going to get pushed off a cliff or fall down and I don't know <laughs> like I think that when you read so many crime and thriller books it becomes a bit obvious but um this is the first book I've read by Ruth Ware and I really did like her writing style because I could read it quite fast like I've read this book in a week I think or maybe a bit longer than a week but I think I much preferred Agatha Christie's and and then there were none because I think that's where all these authors that write crime and thriller books get their ideas from or they must have done because I mean they go to a mysterious island and then they all start going missing um but I think I gave on my bookstagram I gave this 3.5 stars just because it took so long to get to the end and I was a bit like come on like either one of you is gonna die <laughs> or they're all gonna survive or they're not so avalanches end up happening um people go missing and yeah it just was very pretty much like all the motives and all the ways that people go missing heavily in my opinion it's heavily inspired by Agatha Christie I don't know have you read this book if you have let me know if you enjoyed it and what your rating was if you have any other books by Ruth Ware that you think I would enjoy let me know in the comments and I shall see you in my next video thank you for watching bye